Hi everyone, welcome back. <coughs> now we will see about dimensioning of futures with respect to geometric dimensioning and tolerances. <coughs> right? With respect to GDT, we will see dimensioning of features. So in the previous sections, as I recall, we have seen what is a GDNT, which is the geometric dimensioning and tolerance, without which we can't manufacture a part. Next, different datums and their placement. Next, zero planes. What are the uses of zero planes? Next, we have seen about future control frame. And uh, different uh, GDNT symbols. Tolerances. Right? So we have seen everything. Where this G where is this GDNT used and what is the use of, use of it and why it is used? So, in this, today's section, we will see about dimensioning. This is a, assume that this is a simple plate with dimension x x x y y y thickness of the plate is some z z z in order to say that I can completely manufacture this plate with respect to these three dimensions I say yes it is possible to manufacture this plate with the available dimensions on this board now I will remove this Can I able to manufacture this plate? I say no because I know the thickness of the plate I know the width of the plate I don't know about the length of the plate So when it comes, when it goes directly to the production line this component gets failed Right? So in order to say that this is dimension free then I need this So I need all the dimensions to produce a part in the manufacturing stage Suppose I say 100 mm 50 mm, some 3 mm. Instead of, I need a plate of 100 mm length, 50 mm width, and 3 mm thickness. But during the modeling stage or a detailing stage, instead of 100, I gave as 80. And this part goes through the entire process design, inspection, quality, everything. When it comes to the customer end, the customer needs 100, but part is 80 mm. 
it won't go useless but with this length maybe other customer may be having a requirement in the future so again i need to manufacture with 100 mm length as per the current customer requirement so this plate can be used in the future requirement of the future customer other customer so in this case the process get delayed instead of 100 i used 80 i can able to get the plate because i have all the dimensions but with incorrect dimension again i need to process from this starting starting stage so this delays the process so we have to be very careful before the dimensioning and we have to know the requirement of the customer right so with these things i can manufacture it now This is one more plate. I need to dimension. This is as simple as it. X, Y, Z. Here, when it comes to arc, we have to be very careful during dimensioning. How to know whether this dimension is required or not? So this is 90 degrees, this is 90 degrees, right? I know this radius, something around R5. I know this dimension, this this length. So what dimension I require? I need both x, y dimension for this arc or I need only y or I need only x. I need this dimension to decide whether we need this dimension or this dimension. Draw a circle. Of radius 5. This radius 5. Okay, move the circle like this towards anywhere, you can draw anywhere over here, move the circle like this, it will touch here, it will touch here, that means this dimension is not required. Now, move down. move down it goes goes on like this that means we have to arrest this circle with respect to bottom or from the top well that means we need this dimension So one line is perpendicular, so we can't, this circle won't go like this, beyond this point, because we have fixed this dimension. We don't know the moment in the bottom direction. So move like this, move to the bottom. Up to what point? Infinity. We have to define that infinity. But here infinity is not there. There is an end. Here also there is an end, but in this direction there is an infinity point. We have to define that infinity. So I will draw a circle of radius 5. I 
will go on move like this like this like this up to p right this is it is fine we need only this corner we will eliminate this thing and we need this dimension right this is how we have to decide whether a dimension is required for an arc or not whether x direction is required or y dimension is required right i'll explain you again we have to, i have to decide which dimension i need for this arc either this one or horizontal or vertical i have to decide whether i need horizontal dimension or vertical dimension for this we know the radius and we know this point and we know this points at any area draw a circle of radius 5 somewhere initially move this circle on to the horizontal direction so it will go onto until this tangent line it will stop here that means horizontal dimension is fixed now we need vertical dimension now move this circle move this circle it will go on because there is no dimension here it goes on like this infinity now define this infinity direction infinity point of line that means we need this so until it comes here i have defined this one now you know this thing. we don't require these things we need only this arc right this is how we have to define radius next circular feature we have to define axis diameter some tolerance as usual and we have to define position as we discussed in the previous lecture right so this is about the whole feature next There are two ways of defining a slot. First, we define axis. Width into length. Width into length. This is R. so this is one way and position everything tolerance here also plus or minus tau and again position and other way we give 
these dimensions a b c d e f e q r u v w here we give r x r some radius r y with this i know this point i know the radius i will draw a circle over here and i know this point i know this radius i will draw another circle over here this tangent point this tangent point tangent point tangent point i will join all tangent points this is how we have to define slot next ellipse here same way we define axis here we give rx r1 this is suffix x r y this is with respect to rx this is not x is not a dimension rx is a suffix is it is an indication of ellipse this position is mandatory right this is ellipse sub l plate here we give a total length we give thickness here this is applicable for entire thing because it is a single plate we are bending it with our required shape plate is single but we are bending as per our requirement we need this one right we need this one if there is any radius over here if required we give some radius r5 or r2 whatever it will be here for axis we don't require any dimension for this radius because this is perpendicular here we give as a corner radius so no dimension is required for this axis okay so this is about the dimensioning of some of the features in gnd hope you understand if you like this section please subscribe share and comment thank you